Hey you guys, my name is Tariana. I am an intuitive tarot reader. I just think about today's title. We're just getting today's tea all about these monthly predictions in this new month in March. So if you're interested interested in a video like that then carry on watching but before we get into this video go ahead and hit that like button because i'm gonna know you're gonna like this video subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you will never miss another upload also you guys go ahead and check the description below to book a personal session with me um through my website so yes um let's go ahead and get into this tea all right y'all so don't okay all right y'all so don't mind my hair freaking you see the little curls on the sides. It's, they gonna keep sticking out doing whatever they doing, okay? But before we get into this video, I wanted to say that we're gonna start off with the fire signs, air signs, earth, and then water last. Um, of course, we're gonna start with the fire signs because, you know, I'm a Leo. And then I got the Aries moon, so let me stop so i wanted to say um we're gonna be okay these are these are the oracle decks that i'm going to be using i'm going to be using this tea uh tea leaf fortune uh fortune cards i'm going to be using that deck i'm also going to be using my moonology messages um uh, moonology oracle messages deck i'm also going to be using this angel answers deck so I'm just going to be using nothing but, uh, what's it called? Nothing but Oracle decks, y'all. This is like my first time ever doing something like this. So we're just going to go ahead and get into this tea, y'all. So let's go ahead and start off with these fire signs. Hey, fire signs, which is Aries, Leos, and Sagittarius, or someone who has these placements in a chart. So let's go ahead and get into this reading, y'all. So the first card I pull for y'all for y'all is Moonlight Enchanting. This card basically symbolizes going through like difficult times, dark times and stuff like that. It's basically here to remind you that, hey, there is light at the end of the temp at the end of the tum tunnel, <laughs> tumble. I keep saying tumble, but there is light at the end of the tunnel and you should just basically trust the process more and try to find light, trying to like encourage yourself and motive, well, encourage yourself, motivate yourself to, um, to your dreams that you're pretty much um manifesting at this time i also would say this card also ind indicates like basically get in touch with your inner child also believe in believe believe that you can achieve the things that you're currently manifesting right now and expect good things to come um basically when you pretty much pull this card of enchanting moonlight so i'm gonna just go ahead and read the messages out the book so that way um you guys can get like an overall like energy of this um but yes yeah, so it's basically saying there is something magical in enchanting about moonlight wherever it touches and turns a beautiful creamy silver it says something is doing something is doing this in your life now or is about to life is all about cycles as astrology and moonology right now you are about to move into a more enchanting enchanting time or a cycle in your life if you believe whatever you're wishing for can come true because this is whatever you're wishing for can come true because you are starting to believe believing in it believe you are starting to believe it but you starting to believe again this is perhaps after a rough time this card reminds you to focus on the good while um, processing the difficult if you can't um if you can't f if you can't yet feel the magic in your life take support from a daily practice or just um breathe out with the intentions of breathing out stress stress through cleansing breaths it's it says it might be it says it might be dark now but there there is a moonlight at the end of this tunnel so keep faith and see the world through kind eyes if you affirm that something is too good to be true you might make it you might make it so instead believe that life can be magical for you and it can be this is basically saying good things good things can happen to you you are worthy of abundance you are worthy of blessings you are worthy of prosperity you are worthy of healthy last longevity relationships you are worthy of that so believe it um but let's go ahead and get into these other cards um we have um i see two zodiac signs out here well two other cards we have december and we also have july something could significant happen in july in or something significant could happen to in december or these can also be um what's it called the signs that you're dealing with somebody uh this could be what a cancer july a cancer or a leo or this could also be a uh, december this could be also um a scorpio or a um a sagittarius so take what resonates here um we also i also see i feel like you guys are definitely going to be um 
walking into some new things, opening, walking into some new things, clearing out old things, and just basically going to a new path, a new cycle and stuff. We have this caterpillar, we have this caterpillar card. It says things will not always be this way. A change is coming. We also have lion. It's time to take action. So I feel like a change is coming. Definitely when you, when you apply um, your hard work towards this plan or whatever goal that you have that you are trying to keep in mind, I feel like this is definitely coming in for you at this time. We also have key successful to an out to outcome a successful outcome to your problems, and we also have cup. It says you should take, um, you should accept valid criticism. So I feel like you guys are going to be accepting like valid criticism for somebody that's probably going to help you align more to your goals. This could be working with, um, this could be like working with people, networking with people when it comes to, um, your business and stuff like that, or your creative, um, endeavors or things that you just currently manifesting at this time. We also have, we have Taurus coming out, tor tor tortoise, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. We have tortoise coming out. It says slowly but surely getting ahead. And we also have butterfly, a change for the better. So once again, another change, another card that speaks about change. So, you know, if you was first in this caliper phase, pretty much like in the dark, like in the dark, feeling like things is just not going to get better and, and stuff like that. But that's just symbolizing and letting you know, hey, this cycle is definitely coming to the end. This is the end all be all when it comes to this cycle. A new cycle is definitely forging its way towards you and we also have more confirmation right here with this butterfly card saying a change is coming a change is coming for the better even though you may feel like even though you may feel like you're slowly getting ahead for sure still have some type of movement you still moving towards those goals no matter what i'm also seeing you're definitely going to experience some type of victory and some type of endeavor so whatever type of goals that you're going after right now i feel like this is definitely going to be coming in for you and you're going to experience some type of victory but spirit also wants you to know to be um be aware of greedy people or be aware of um you being greedy pretty much and always not being grateful for what you already what you already have but i don't think that's that i feel like it's really um be aware of, of greedy people around you and stuff like that as your um manifestations and stuff come through for you we also have um this helpful people card we have helpful people coming out we also have reconsider and we have within we also have within the next few, few weeks. So I feel like you definitely, I feel like your energies are definitely letting you know it's okay to, to accept valid criticism to, um, things that makes it, accepting valid criticism from people um, that are actually trying to help you, that are actually working with you and stuff like that. I feel like you're, um, I feel like um, even though things have definitely been slowed down at this time, it's not to, it's not to basically tell you that, hey, this is not going to happen and this and that. It's more to like basically reconsider or reevaluate your plans on how you're going about the situation to bring in that success. And I feel like you're definitely going to be stepping in the phase of doing that. And as you can see right here, there's more confirmation right here. It says within the next few weeks, like whatever you've been asking for and praying and stuff is definitely going to be coming in for you guys. So yes, if this reading resonated for you, fire signs, go ahead and leave a comment below y'all. And until next time, y'all. Hey, air signs, welcome to your reading, um, which are Aquarius, Gemini's and Libra's. So let's go ahead and get to the seat. So this first card I pulled for y'all guys is called Moonbeams Focus. This card basically indi indicates like don't judge yourself, um, don't judge yourself too harshly for what you're currently going through. Success takes time. Focus on the positive of the situation that you're currently going through. And I mean, you, you may be going through some tough times and stuff like that, but Spirit is basically saying look at look at the good in the situation and stuff like that. And yeah, we also have it says take some time out if you need to and pretty much meditate. So we're gonna go ahead and, and read the um the book meaning of this card basically when you get this it says having big dreams is a wonderful thing but this card suggests that you you need to get more get more serious and focused when it comes to making your dreams come true perhaps thomas edison's success success is one percent inspiration and 99 percent of uh persper perspiration you need to hone your vision this is where where should you begin if you've been um if you've been comparing yourself to other people this card is a strong a strong reminder that comparison is a thief of joy you can only go at your own pace if someone someone else or something is causing you to be distracted from your own solo purpose this is a time to turn if this is the time to turn the noise down it says you're being asked to make a bigger effort in in terms of moving and moving towards your goals this may include having a greater self-discipline and restraint also remind reminder that 
And also remember that like, that's confirmation right there. It says also remember that um, remember that success is a very even if you feel if you're even if you feel like even if you feel like you're going in circles, you are still you're still getting an inch towards your goals. But you need to stay very focused right now. So this is what this card indicates. Also, I have um, I feel like you guys uh, currently are going through some rough and some difficult times right now. You air signs. Let's see. We have staff. We have this. It, this will clarify. It says staff. It says you will be taken care of in different, um, do difficult times. We have um, gavel involvement with the law, so you guys could um, have some type of involvement with the law. But spirit wants you to know that you would definitely will be taken care of in these difficult times. I'm also seeing. Um, Y'all could have been dealing with somebody or some people around you that could have had some he hidden secrets or some hidden motives and stuff like that. I feel like that has definitely been brought to the light and stuff like that. Spirit wanted you to know that. And we also said, it says skull. It says hidden secrets can harm you. We have crown. It says honor and res respect will definitely will be coming in, um, coming into you. So I feel like with that honor and respect card that, that would be coming in for you, I feel like um that would definitely be coming in for those of you that are actually on the the side of trying to make things better and do things but with the involvement with the law and stuff like that i don't know that might be going with that i don't know take whatever take how that resonates with you um because i didn't want to get too deep in that um we also have um desk we have desk pay attention we have pay attention to your work and we have a wall misunderstandings yeah so you could have been you could have been around um family members or friends or co old co-workers or People that's just in your, um, in your, that people that are just closest to you. I feel like you definitely have been experiencing some type of misunderstandings with these people and stuff like that. We also see, we also have mice coming out. This is definitely clarify what I just said about the misunderstandings, um, and about somebody having hitting, hitting motives over intentions or something like that. I feel like it's definitely being brought to the light. We also have mice. It says discord among friends and family. This card speaks about basically you guys are all on different paths and going in different ways about stuff. So, of course, you guys are not going to see eye to eye on certain things when y'all all, all are coming from different places and stuff like that. We also have Ram, a, stum a stubborn, aggressive person. So this person that you are not seeing eye to eye with or having some type of misunderstandings with, I definitely see this person could be very like... um very stubborn and just very kind of like uh stuck in their ego we also have um these we have three cards coming out we have compromise we have compromise coming out we also have this weight card and we have ask ask for help from others so you guys this compromise card right here speaks about co cooperation it speaks about being open to cooperate with other being able to like get what you need out of the situation and also give others what they need in the situation when it um when it comes to that and also this your guys want you to know with this weight card your this is not coming in for you but it's basically saying not yet um give um give your situation some time to basically allow things to fall in place to make things um serve you and i feel like once it does serve you i feel like it's going to serve the others around you as well so that's why um they're just working on pretty much getting things into alignment with this and we also have ask help from others so <clears throat> it's basically going back to this co um compromise card which is basically being open to copper um being open to um <clears throat> being open to basically um cooperate with others being open don't be afraid to ask for help and stuff like that when it comes to your your current situation so yes if this um reading resonated for you air signs go ahead and leave that like button leave a comment below and until next time y'all stay blessed my earth signs which are capricorn tauruses and virgos so let's go ahead and get into y'all reading so the first card i pull for y'all is out of bounds moons boundaries this card is basically speaks about um basically not over not overreacting like not overreacting not putting your not feeding into a negative like emotional downhill spiral you feel me um basically like tapping like this is like calming yourself down tapping in with yourself before you make any um de decisions and stuff especially when your emotions are high right now but let's go ahead and read um we're going to go ahead and read into we're going to read into the books um, meaning of this card. So let's go ahead and get to it. It's time to take a full, honest inventory of your behavior in the recent past. Have you is this have you gone too far? Have you been have you been acting out? Have you been allowing your emotions to get to the better of you? If if you know that's if that's you, if you know that you've been misbehaving emotionally, it is time to 
it's time to go within and reflect on these things. It says draw up some boundaries as more. It says as much as you might want to get your way in, in the current situation, you also need to take take other people's other people's needs into into consideration. You also need to take other people's needs into consideration. If someone has been overstepping the boundaries with you, it's time for you to let them know gently but firmly. There is a mat it's a gently but firmly. There is a magic in the air where when you when the, there's a magic in the air when this car appears, you you must have let emotions overwhelm you. It says you could be um you could be you could be receiving what feels like a miracle but you you need to behave in a way that it supports everybody it supports everybody involved it's just spending spending time in alone in meditation now will really help you understand what your best move is what your best move what your best move is next when emotion spirals you can often chase away the very thing that you want to attract so basically the additional meanings to this card is basically saying you are un you are unique and a magical being when your emotions are high you just need to calm them baby girl that's what it's given it's also a side it says avoid overreacting drawing it says draw a line under the past and use your intuition more when it comes to situations in your life so yes we also have um these tea tea leaf oracles uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and pull out. So we also have wealth coming out. So I feel like um, we also have wealth coming out and flowers, flowers, happiness. So I feel like a, I feel like this month of March is definitely going to be very healthy, he healthy for you guys. I feel like this very this month of March is going to be very happy for you guys. I feel like you guys are definitely going to be happy. I feel like um, I feel like um, your finances and stuff is definitely going to be increasing and stuff like that. We also have the sun coming out happiness and well-being we have dog it's his protection from a powerful friend so you also could have your spirit guides could be protecting you your um ancestors ancestors could be protecting you watching over you or this could also be um a, a friend actually like somebody that you know um is basically pr protecting you from any um any energies that isn't serving you your greatest good right now i also see tree coming out it says affairs with your family and it says door it says opening, it says opportunities are waiting for you. So I feel like you guys are definitely, this could, um, I feel like you guys are definitely going to be like, uh, things are just going to be working. Like they you could be celebrating with your family and stuff at these, um, when these doors and stuff, these new doors and finances and stuff going <laughs> opportunities coming in for you. We also have ladder. It says climbing towards success. And we have wind chimes. It says peace and harmony. So I feel like you guys are definitely going to be climbing towards success. I feel like you guys are going to be getting your success. I feel like you guys, are, this is just the month for y'all. You feel me? And we also have peace and harmony coming out. So you guys are going to be very much at peace with yourself and stuff like that. We also have um, this romance card coming out. We have romance coming out. We have meditation, bring you answers. And we also have within the next few weeks. So I feel like you guys, I feel like with this romance card is definitely entering, it's basically speaking about um, uh, an important person in like entering your life or this person has already entered your life and stuff like that. I feel like things are definitely going to be um, balancing out and I feel like you're going, going to be moving to a deeper love commitment or a higher love commitment or like things that wasn't working out and stuff like that. I feel like things are definitely going to start working out with your partner and stuff like that. Um, and we also have meditation brings answers. I feel like with this meditation bringing answers, is basically, basically like go within yourself, take some time to yourself. And basically when you go within yourself and asking yourself for answers, the answers and everything is going to come for you, especially when you have too much like emotions, um, bottle up and stuff like that, work through that and ground yourself in, Go within yourself to ask for the answers because the answers that you definitely need about the next move that you're going to take and stuff like that is definitely within you. And your um your 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 guys want you to basically tap in with your intuition more. And we also have what's it called within the next few weeks. So yeah, so your blessings or whatever that you're manifesting right now at this time and stuff like that is definitely going to be coming in within the next few weeks. Um, my earth sign. So yeah, so if this reading resonated for you guys. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below and until next time y'all stay blessed Hey, my water signs, which are my cancer Scorpios and Pisces. So let's go ahead and get to y'all's tea So I have two two cards came out for y'all So I was really just trying to put one but two of them came out. We have new moon new moon beginnings And we also have the moon's reflections accepting it says accept responsibility 
So that far being said, we're going to start off with the accept responsibility card, which is accept the responsibility card. So basically when you get this card, this card basically ind indicates like, you know, it's time to reflect on your shadow. It's time to reflect on yourself, ref reflect, reflect back on things and stuff that you're currently going through just to take, um, accountability on your side and stuff like that um this is also like see yourself in someone see yourself in someone else's shoes um basically this also could symbolize solutions and to your problems and stuff is also nearby and this is also take um take responsibility for your situation so let's go ahead and read the book meaning of this card this is as you move it along. This is as you move along the spiritual path. It becomes more and more important to accept responsibility for your own actions. The situation you find yourself is is not a reflection of either either your current beliefs or your past behaviors. This card this card isn't isn't making you to feel discouraged or guilty, but rather rather it mean it meant to encourage you to ask why did I create this situation? What what about this situation is helping me? Once you find the courage to answer these questions, you will start to see that you will have the power. You will have the power than you. It says you will have more power than you ever knew. It says, well, it says we are all creating our lives 24 seven. And while you may not like the idea that everything happens for a reason, it really is possible to find a reason for nearly everything that happens. Try to see, try to see your current dilemma try to see your current current dilemma with the perspective with that perspective it says it will show it says it shows you how it will show you why is it's happening for you if something if someone is bothering you now you realize that they they are a mirror for you realize that their inner life is reflected in your outer life and you are you are on the way of self mastery this new moon this is this new moon beginnings this card basically means yet a yes is this is like a confirmation card and basically go after your dreams start over it says you are the fire and good is on its way and ask her higher self for guidance basically um basically when you pull this card it says you might feel as those you've been wrestling with your current situation for far too long but drawing this card suggests and otherwise in fact this message I said, the message of this card is that you are some, it says you are somehow cycle with regarding, regarding to regards to life, regarding to your life in general or a specific dilemma or dilemma you're in, inquiring about. It says either your stories is just beginning or a situation you're asking about is old, but you're starting a new chapter. This is a very powerful, it says this is a very, um, this is a very positive card. Overall, it suggests that you are heading in the right direction, but there is no no guarantees that this is the direction you were, you originally had in mind. Now is the time to encourage encourage and strength. Now is the time for encourage and strength. You make your it says you make your dreams come true if you believe in them. If they it says if and if they're what your higher self knows is best for you on your own journey. It says now is the time to make make the effort towards whatever whatever you want to achieve knowing that you have the moon support this this acts about this this is think about what you want to attract into your life and think about what you want to attract in your life and take the steps and take the steps towards that okay y'all so let me go ahead and get the the tea leaf oracles we have september and august coming out so I feel like you guys could have been dealing with a, what's it called? A Libra is in September, a Libra or a Virgo, or this could also be a Leo, which is August, a uh, Leo or a Leo, a Leo Virgo cuss. That's what it's giving me or a Virgo Libra cuss. So these signs could be significant or maybe these seasons would take place in these seasons could have been significant. I feel like you guys are definitely going to be cutting off somebody. We have um, dog barking, advice from friends. It says scissors, disappointed in some affair. So disappointment in some affair. We also have flute here. Flu. It says disappointment in a friend or a lover in frying pan. It says trouble, trouble, a uh, Cassiations, and we also have trouble with the frying pan here i feel like these energies is giving me the vibe of you know you seek i feel like you got some wisdom i feel like you have got some advice from um somebody that you you know some sound mind advice somebody that gave you clarity over a situation i feel like you're definitely going to be letting go with something moving something out of your life and stuff like that just basically wiping it slate clean and just basically starting over new I feel like you could have been, it says funnel, 
periods of frustrations and lessons to be learned. I feel like you could have been going through, you know, these frustrations and, and learning these lessons and stuff when it comes to what you want in love and how what you want in love or what you expect in situations or how you know what you want pretty much. I feel like with this funnel card and this period of frustrations and lessons to need to be learned, I feel like when I feel like you had to go through this in order for you to really know what you want and stuff like that we also have flowers we have flowers coming out happiness and we also have torch it says spiritual development enlightenment awareness and understandings so you guys could be definitely going through a spiritual awakening at this time and i feel like um a lot of happiness is definitely going to be coming in for you as you go ahead and let go of things that's just not serving you if it's your greatest goods if it's bringing you um mess drama chaos rah rah just go ahead and cut that out of your life because it's not giving you the peace of mind, the clarity, the hardworking, good energy that you're putting out in the world. So that's that. If anybody's stressing you out, child, just go ahead and call it quits. And that's just that's just really that's just pretty much what it is. Um, we also have three cards coming out. We have this abundance card coming out. We also have be assertive, and if you believe. So I feel like what this abundance card is coming out is definitely saying, hey, the abundance is right there by the corner. It's wait, it's sitting there waiting on you. you. You're definitely on that path of abundance and you're definitely on a path of making things better for yourself. And I'm also seeing be assertive. Your guys want you to know to be assertive, take action towards like um, take actions and stuff towards your goals and stuff that you have set and plan. And your guys also want you to also um, be very faithful at this time, like um basically kind of like restore faith in yourself when you are experiencing moments of doubts and stuff like that like that's moments of doubts fears and stuff like that that is normal to experience especially when you're going after some goals and things that make you grow in life those are things and that's going to be normal to experience but it's all about how you handle them it's all about how you go about them and stuff like that spirit wants you to know if you believe in um your this new path for you or this new way of going about stuff and stuff like that basically if you believe in it it's basically going to come through for you just go ahead and tap into your higher self um yeah tap into your higher self ask your higher self for for guidance when it comes when it comes to um this situation and stuff ask yourself um ask your higher self for guidance when it comes to the situation especially when you are like kind of like reflecting back on the situation to take responsibility for the part that you played and stuff like that so yes if this reading resonated for you water signs go ahead and hit that like button leave a comment below and until next time y'all y'all stay blessed Thank you guys for taking your time out for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this monthly um, month, this monthly prediction reading with me for this month, for this new month in March. And I really hope these um, messages um, resonated for you guys. I also wanted to say before you leave this video, if you want to book personal readings with me, go ahead and check in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook, my Instagram, and my TikTok if you want more daily uh, posts with me. So until next time, y'all stay blessed.